well it's come to that time of year again when I've got to clean out the gutters for the rainwater tanks so I just thought I'd show you my little system here right down here you can see we've got a stainless steel sieve that goes on the end of the, of the rainwater pipe here from the gutter up there and uh, that's filled up with charcoal I've just tipped out the charcoal because it was had a lot of sediment from the roof so I've got to crush some new charcoal in there screw that back on there and then that fits up in here keeps the tank nice and clean so all the water going into the tank is filtered through the charcoal before I start to drink it so we've got two of these 1600 litre tanks one off the front carport at the front of the house which there's no trees overhanging or anything so you don't have to worry about cleaning the gutters out too much there and I've got another one around the back as well so this one at the back same, 1600 litres. We never use all this up, just with myself and Karen or even with other people staying with us. We never use up all that rainwater. So the tank at the front is sort of extra. Really. One tank's plenty for us, and that's all we drink is the rainwater, and we use it for a few other things as well. And this is the same setup. This stainless charcoal filter, all the rain coming off the roof goes straight through that into there. As you can see, the charcoal there's got quite a bit of sediment that's come off the roof. I'll just throw that out and go and make some new cut charcoal. Put new stuff. So I threw out that bit of charcoal, but it's just like a sludge at the bottom. So obviously it's collected way too much. So um, yeah, it's a good thing it needs changing over now because no water would go through to fill up the tank. That'd be just completely blocked basically. So just give my So I'm just using barbecue charcoal. It's actually sort of like moulded, moulded into sort of blocks somehow. I don't know how they do that. It's, I've bought other different types, types of charcoal, but it does the same thing. I'll just crush it up. So, um, this is the leg off a pair of jeans, just with a zip tie around the end of it, and I've filled that up with charcoal. So, I can get a bit of a bash of a hammer, let's see what that does. Crumble it up a fair bit, probably average size, less than 10 mil, I can feel. So I'll just uh, as you can see, it's pretty dirty, pretty dirty. So as you can see, we are all crushed. I'm just going to have to wash that now and wash all the fine particle out of it. So I'm just left with the charcoal chips. Charcoal actually doesn't float. So, so just trying to wash it as much as I can. So I got clear water draining through the through the charcoal. So that's what will happen with the rainwater, hopefully. So this 
front. my newly washed cleaned charcoal in the charcoal filter just about to put it back on the roof but before I do that I'm going to give a roof a bit of scrub down especially in the tank over there where we've got drinking water just give it a bit of a scrub and uh, make it nice and clean so all of the rainwater for this tank comes off this little section of roof here it's only about four meters by four meters oh, and that little bit of pitch there as well and uh, this 1600 litre tank will fill up one, if we get an inch of rain, it'll fill from empty to full in, in one inch of rain. And I've only got this little bit of gutter here to collect from, which is only probably uh, not even eight feet long. It's pretty clean. I'll just give it another bit of a brush and you'll notice. <coughs> Actually, there's the down pipe there for, to go into the rainwater tank and that's what goes through the charcoal filter. You notice I've got a little bit of a lip around here, around the downpipe, to, to make the water back up so that it flows down the um, outlet into the rainwater tank. Otherwise, most of the water would flow straight over the top and straight down the drain and not filter into the rainwater tank. So it's just a, a little metal strip that I put in there. A little metal strip and I elastic it in so it's probably eight or 10 mil higher than the actual bottom of the gutter. So it makes the water pool, but then in a heavy rain event, um, the gutter fills up and it overflows over the top of that, no problem. Gutter, the drain holes all good, good to go for the next six months or more probably. So then we just put the nice clean charcoal in and screw it in. Pop it back in the tank, nothing else can get in there. Same for the one at the front. Back on, screw it back on. So there it is, all our drinking water supplies for the whole year, what is it, nearly February, um, and the water level is only down to here, so we've been through most of the summer, we haven't even used a third of the tank, and uh, if we get a rain in the next day or so that's any more than 20 or 30 mils, it'll probably fill that up, and then we've got the tank out the front as well. So that rainwater tank there has been filled by only that little corner section of the roof, all this roof area here and all that roof area up there all goes out into the stormwater drain. It's just a waste really. Well, we've had a nice little bit of rain this morning. Let's have a look and see how it's going. There we go. Some rain just dribbling in there. 
slowly filling up. I reckon uh, the next day or two we'll fill up that tank. Yeah, look at that beautiful, clean, clear water just dribbling in there. Good for drinking, no problem with that. No fluoride, no chemicals. So, out of the rainwater tank, we decanter into this big 10 litre jug here or water bottle, which probably you pay about 15 bucks for. And we fill it into this Stefani earthenware filter, which has got stone filters inside, which the water filters through stone. And that takes out 99.9% .9 of any bacteria, apparently. But uh, I've been drinking this rainwater from that rainwater tank uh, for 16 years now. And before that, as a kid, we always drank rainwater. No problems, no health problems, never ever got sick. And the water tastes a shitload better than anything out of the tap there. Even filtered water doesn't taste anywhere near as good as the rainwater off the roof once it's filtered through this filter. Well, this is a front rainwater tank, 1600 litres. I'm guessing, based on last time I checked, it was probably only about two feet down from the top. So, you know, more than two thirds, nearly three quarters full. Um, well, um, I'm not sure how much rain we've had so far, but I'm guessing maybe 10 mils. And it's already filled the tank, as you can see it overflowing at the bottom here from the overflow. So, looks like both rainwater tanks will be full again soon, or right now.